nine days later in Prague, the capital of Czechoslovakia, the 44th session of the Council for Mutual Economic Assistance was open. Prime Ministers of the ten member states, Yugoslavia and seven developing countries in the capacity of observers took up discussions with the purpose of reviving the low dynamism of cooperation and elaborating a new concept of international division of labor till the year 2000. The session's primary task is to change the outlived extensive integration model based on bureaucratic approaches to problems affecting economic and scientific and technological relations among the Council's member states. Stagnation in mutual trade, the product's low competition level caused by lagging technology, differences of internal prices, and the deformation of exchange rate relations are some of the negative aspects affecting the member states. On the other hand, optimism is evoked by the reform process occurring in the individual countries, the enthusiasm and efforts to change people's thinking stifled by endlessly repeated formulations, a tendency inspired and motivated by the restructuring taking place in the Soviet Union. In comparison with the previous ones, this session brought more critical and self-critical statements. The discussion was marked by an attempt to view matters realistically, to avoid the idolization of cooperation, and through critical analysis, seek ways to radically improve the situation. The dialogue demonstrated a varying quality of opinions concerning different issues. Not every member state is willing to accept and implement proposals to create a united socialist market and to carry through the restructuring of the monetary and financial systems. The establishment of free market zones was also discussed, for which a connection between the internal price system and the prices on the world market and convertible currency must be ensured. For the first time it was mentioned out loud that the insufficient use of market relations has become the weak point in the integration of states, negatively influencing the Council's individual countries' economic development and constituting an obstacle to the adoption of top quality technologies. Nevertheless, the introduction of the new tendencies is guaranteed by the fact that the basic features of the economic reform are identical in most of the socialist countries. This involves an ever broader utilization of economic methods in production management the strengthening of enterprise independence as well as competition principles of their activity and the democratization of life in general. Reporting by Jan Martinek from Czechoslovak TV News for CNN World Report.